reason that terrorists would attack a nuclear power plant is that there's a tremendous amount of radioactivity in the reactor core and in the spent fuel. If that radioactivity is released, you can kill tens of thousands of people and contaminate a large area for centuries. David Lockbaum should know. For 17 years, he worked as an engineer inside nuclear power plants. Today, he is the nuclear safety engineer at the Union of Concerned Scientists and since 1991 has been monitoring mock terrorist attacks conducted at U.S. nuclear power plants. The results of these tests have been alarming. What you learn from the test is if the terrorists provide six months notice of when they're going to arrive and they follow the rules like they attack only at night when there's not a, a lot of other workers around and they, they wear red hard hats to distinguish them from other workers, they're only going to be about 50 percent successful in causing a, a meltdown at the plant. And how did the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission that monitors the plants respond to this near 50 percent failure rate? It tried to cancel the program, proposing that the nuclear industry conduct its own tests. Captain David Oreck, the former Navy SEAL who led the mock tests, told the NRC in a 1999 letter that these failures risked an American Chernobyl and suggested the agency does not take the terrorist threat seriously. So the plant personnel know ahead of time that these mock attacks are coming. They get up to six months warning. They must be prepared. How can they possibly fail the tests? Unfortunately, it's not a job that attracts the best and the brightest because the companies aren't paying for it. So they're getting, we've talked to some guards who became security guards because they were turned down as being the greeter at Walmart. But even if the guards were highly trained, what could they have done against a jet airliner attack like we saw on 9-11? Uh, kind of like the guy on Fantasy Island, they could point to it and say, the plane boss, the plane, that's about it. The nuclear industry has been running ads to try and dispel fears about security around reactors. But two reactor guards speaking on CNN said the force is in fact poorly trained, while Congressman Ed Markey fears that unless security is substantially improved, the danger could even come from inside the plant. We run the risk uh, that some insider might cooperate either with a terrorist group or just go berserk himself. And how satisfied is David Lockbaum that enough has been done to defend nuclear plants from terrorists? If they were to attempt an attack and it were to be successful, we couldn't look into the faces of the victims and say, we did everything we could to protect you, because we simply haven't. We know their problems and we're tolerating them. And that's an unexcusable situation for this country to be in.